Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at a fully stable working build of the Lineage OS 15.1 for our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, first of all, thanks to all of the devs who have contributed great and like they have contributed for this really stable build of the Lineage OS 15. So, let's go into settings, system. And into the about phone and you can see lineage os uh, 8.1 not uh, android version 8.1.0 lineage os 15 and it's the april 20th build like last night it was pushed out and you can see we get the 5 april 2018 security patch too now this is not a launcher that comes pre-installed with lineage os because i've installed a separate uh, launcher zip i flashed i got this pixel launcher you can also install the pixel launcher apk uh, yeah, you will get some exciting stuff. Uh, it's like the newer latest which is available on the Android P. So yeah, you can install it if you Now want. let's take a look at some of the like minimal customizations you can do in this uh, like in your Redmi Note 5 while running Renage OS. So we have a live display option and live display will do your work like if you're using it day it will set it to auto if you set it to automatic mode it will detect night too and if you are on the night mode you can see a tint yellowish tint which will not like affect your eyes so yeah it's a very good uh, mode available on the lineage os and it's working truly well you also have ad uh, adaptive dis uh, adaptive brightness and you can see the brightness gets uh, adjusted automatically and we also have the choose system colors you can see you can choose style I have selected this blueberry now if I want to forest you can see the system colors have been changed to green you can see the brightness bar also in the settings panel you can see uh, some of the things like here you can see the green like the color changes to green now more options we get is the uh, display size and we get much display sizes the small the default the smaller smallest and the large one not the largest one which is available in some roms we also can change the font size we have ambient display but no always on display is present because this is a lcd panel and we have tap to wake double tap anywhere to wake and it works fully you can see double tap anywhere where it works and we also wake on plug and prevent accidental wake up then we also uh, like just uh, go into the system uh, into the buttons you can configure your navbar buttons you can see so arrow keys then buttons and layouts the power button the home button the volume buttons you can configure also the search button and the menu button too then you go into the status bar and you can customize the system icons you can also get the network traffic monitor and also the quick pull down if you want and we also have the brightness slider settings then we move into developer options we have the advanced restart option too like when you choose here and when you click on restart we get advanced options rather than only restarting the system so guys the camera is also working on this rom fully you can see the stock camera so this is the google camera which i got after installing the stock g apps now the full g apps and you can see we have the flashlight option also it clicks pictures works fully and okay just enable flash and you can see flash also works then we have some options like lens bar panorama photo sphere also the video option and video recording also works fine uh, you can see video recording works then let's choose settings okay here is the settings and you can see in advance uh, you can see manual exposure option then into the resolution and quality into the back camera we only get up to 180p and the front camera 720p now you can also change the uh, panorama resolution to lower or higher then we uh, let's get back to and also the google camera mod which i installed is working fully so you can use portrait mode too uh, you can see uh, you can use the portrait mode as well as lens bar in the latest version i will leave all the link for the extras also in the description below so you can check it out and guys the fingerprint also works on this rom so let's go into settings into the security and privacy and you can see in the fingerprint let me put the password and i have two fingers first one is this one and second is this one so let's try with this one okay let me show you guys when i tap it so it takes much time you can see it's not that uh, fully stable but yeah it takes some time to unlock the device 
so yeah it's not a fast fingerprints uh, yeah on lineage OS it's not that fast on MIUI it was faster than lineage but yeah it's okay it's working really well and that's it for the video guys if you like this video press the like button and if not press the dislike button also subscribe down here is a red button for more videos and i will see you guys in the next video till then enjoy lineage OS which is a fully stable build working on your redmi note 5 and guys bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video bye